It's the last day of our Pop of Color series, so we're going to do a, a few different looks next week. And I think the replay is still on here. I think so. No, I'm not going to put that one on YouTube because it was really grainy yesterday. It was really bad, and um, so I just, I'm not going to put that one on YouTube. So today we're doing a pop of color using our Urban Decay palette, and I am using mostly the Chaos, which is this color right here. And this is the look that we are going to be achieving on this side. To start off with, I will say that this look is a little more um, advanced as far as how did you get? Did I change my settings back to what? Hey, Sharia Sharice. So, I forgot what I was saying. No, I didn't set my settings back on my camera. Is it still grainy? Anyway, so... Um, this technique is a little more advanced. It does require a little more patience, but I did want to still show it to you guys, uh, just because it's fun. So, let's get started. Hey, Shari. Don't be scared of color. Color looks amazing on everyone. Yeah, so this is going to open up your palette, show you some different things. So this is, on this side, I've done this entire face minus the contour and all of that. So this side is pretty much done. So on this side, we're going to start, instead of priming our eye, we're going to start with a black liner. And this is what I normally use, Max Eye Coal in Smolder. Let me move some stuff so I can move in closer. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a line right in the crease of our eye. The line doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be smudged and blended in. But you do want to follow the shape of your eyes. Good morning. Good morning, Christian Lady 101. Ooh, my eyesight's getting a little better. <laughs> thank you guys for the heart party that's going on right now. Appreciate that. And thank you for sharing because I forgot to tell you guys about that. Alright, so we're drawing this line. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to blend it in. All right, so there we're at, right there. Now, the next step before we blend it in, we're going to take a dark brown pencil. I'm using Max Chestnut, but you can use, sometimes I use NYX Dark Brown. Or not NYX, I'm sorry, NYC. Sometimes I use this one right here, same color. And right on top of where you did that black, uh, too much stuff on my hands, you are going to draw brown right there so this is creating almost like a soft cut crease so depending on how sharp you want the line if you don't know what a cut crease is a cut crease is a non-blended line so a cut crease would be this would be blue this would be black but you would see a definite line so depending on how hard you want it's going to be on the line I'm drawing is on top of the black so depending on how sharp you want your cut crease to be depends on how you blend it. So we're drawing the brown right on top of the black. And we're stopping there and we're going to blend out before we do anything else. So before we move on, we're using a blending brush, but this is a more detailed blending brush than one that I used yesterday. This one's from Morphe M507 and it has a point and it has like uh, the blending portion of it on the edges here, but the point is there. So using the point, we are going to blend the brown first and what we're doing is getting rid of any harsh line and blending it up into our brow bone. 
just like that. So as you're blending, just making sure you're blending more of the line than you are where the two, where the black and brown meet. You're just blending the edge, you're softening up the edge and into the brow bone. So kind of leave where black and brown meet alone. And as we blend, making sure there's not a harsh line and we're good to go. Okay, next, next time. Okay, good. So we're nice and blended and then we are going to take where we did the black and blend some more, but leaving the bottom alone right here, we're just doing the top where the brown and black meet now. Still just using the point of the brush, not the sides, but the point. Let me see if I can move a little closer in so you can see. So this technique requires you to blend a lot. All right, so we're stopping there. And to set those pencils, we're gonna use a dark brown eyeshadow icon. This is the one I'm using. And I'm just gonna go right in that crease. And do what we normally do when show wiper. And take a little bit of color like a lighter brown shade, so like a medium brown tone, and just blend to your eyebrow. And if you run out of product, that's fine. We don't want the color to go super high. And we're done with brown. Moving on to the black, I'm using uh, Black Widow from Thoughts Box, but any black shadow would work as long as it's a true black with no shimmer. You want the black to be matte. And right where the black is, you're just doing, still using the point of the brush, you're setting in that color. All right, so we're gonna move on to the funner part, which is the blue. So I am using a blue-based, it's like a light blue-based uh, primer that I've created from my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. But if you don't have this palette, which I'm sure you don't, this palette is like super expensive, um, and it really, you won't use this palette a lot unless you're a makeup artist, but what you can do is you can mix, not your nude, but a white. Does the pencil come by? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It took me a minute to like comprehend that question, but it does. You're absolutely correct. So you can use a white base. Make sure it doesn't have shimmer in it. This one does have shimmer from NYX, so I don't like to use it. So I'm not gonna use this one, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a base, a colorful base, so that your bright colors can be even bolder. So you'll take a little bit of your base, that's the white base that I just showed you guys from NYX, a little bit of whatever shadow you're using so if it's powder, it's fine. I'm trying to grab it. Pat it in there. And mix it up. And then it will change the color of it and then you can put it on your eye. The reason why you wanna do that is because you want this blue eye, this electric blue eye to be as bright as possible. And so I want the base to kind of have some color in it. And then you're still gonna put that same color over your eye. 
using the primer helps the shadow stay on, yes. And it gives the shadow something to stick to, <clears throat> as well as helps it from creasing. Let's get our base together here. An eye primer and an eye base are the same thing. Just different words, different companies call it different things. So when you're putting your primer on or your base, you're just making sure that you're careful and you're redefining the line you've just created. It's cream. Most of the shadows are pretty much all the primers, is what I meant to say, are cream based. All right, so we've primed our eye and we're ready to do the blue. This blue is called Chaos, and it's from Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm just using the brush that comes inside the kit, and I am tapping the color and patting it on the eye. This blue is really pigmented, so it's like perfect for a night out. Yay, sis! Tag me in the picture. So when you're patting it, just be careful as you're getting closer to the black, where the black and the blue are going to meet. You don't want to go over the black. And you keep patting. When it comes to bright colors, you have to keep patting till you don't see any lines. So no creases. That's how you know you've put enough shadow on. And I'm using the side of the brush, just an FYI. Now I'm using the top to get a little closer to where the black and blue will meet. And this is a fun look. I mean, I don't think you would go to work with this look unless you, depending on what your job is, but this is a going out, having fun type of look. Right, so the blue is done. And just to redefine the black, we are going to go back to our black eyeshadow, use this blending brush that has the point on it, using the edge, the actual point, I mean. We're going to tap it into the black. Uh, lip color for the vamp look yesterday was Night Moth Lip Liner and Big Apple Tinted uh, Lip Balm, I think is what they call it, from Kaylin. Or you could just use Monte Carlo from NYX. So we're just going to go back and redefine that line. that we created with the black. <clears throat> All right, almost there. Oh, thank you for watching. And if you guys ever watch the play playbacks, you guys can still have a heart party. Um, it still counts. Okay, so right now I'm just checking. I'm just checking and making sure the balance is all good. Because that's important. You know, your, your eyes have to be blended. You have to have the same, same amount of color on both sides. All that's important when you're doing your makeup. So right now I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blended. 
and that there's no line separation between the blue and the black, which I think I see a little bit of a line separation right here. Right, so we're done with our eyeshadow. Let's do our line. So you guys may know by now I am a huge fan of a wing liner. So I most of my makeup looks have wing liners. So we're going to go ahead and do that again using Bobbi Brown Black Ink Gel Liner. Same brush, eyeliner brush. Moving in a little closer to, so you guys can see. And we start drawing. When it comes to wing liners and how thick it should be, I tend to go a lot thicker when the line or when the eyeshadow is bolder. And when I mean thicker, I mean the line that is in this area, not necessarily the wing. Yeah, I don't use liquid liner too much. I, that's why I like gel. Gel is more cream-based. Liquid liner, you definitely have to have a steady hand because it, it moves around. It's liquid. Yes, I'm wearing contacts so I can see you guys because I'm blind and they are colored. What color are these contacts? They're green, but they're not like the, I think they're like hazel green or something because they have brown in them. They have they have like brown and green in them so they don't look unbelievably green. Yes, I'm pulling my skin just a little bit, not too much because I don't because I don't want to change the shape of my eyes. So if you pull your skin too much, you'll change the shape of your eyes and then when you let go, it won't the liner will look weird. Thank you. You know, when it comes to colored contacts, it uh, depends on what um, color you're using on your eyes, shadow-wise, and they change color. I think that's why I like the green. Alright, so we are done with that. Just checking the balance, making sure that they are the same. And before we move on, we're going to clean up and draw the line underneath our eyes in our waterline. Put our lashes on and we're done with our shadow. So that wasn't too bad, right? You guys could achieve this look yourself. All right, so the cleanup is just using a makeup mover wipe, and I'm just making sure that I clean up anything that fell below my lash line or my wing and underneath my eyes. This blue is from Urban Decay, and it's from an electric palette. It's called the Electric Palette. To be honest, I don't think they sell it separately. I think you would have to buy the entire the entire palette, which I want to say is about $54, but it's well worth it because it, it lasts a long time. I've had that palette for a really long time, and I use those colors a lot. So let's do our lashes.
The glue just splattered everywhere. All right, my glue is almost gone. So that's part of the reason why it's taking so long. So would you guys wear this look going out? Don't be nervous about your putting on lashes. You can do it. You just have to keep practicing. It took me a while. I did better doing lashes on other people because that's how I practiced. So, you know, doing other people's makeup. And then when it came to me, it took me forever. I usually use uh, this glue right here, Duo in Dark Tone. <laughs> um, but today, because I'm almost out, I'm using my hair glue. A thin layer of hair glue. The shadows from Urban Decay from the electric palette. And inside the palette, it's called Chaos. Yeah, I love my duo glue. All right, so we're just gonna use tweezers, gonna set the eyelashes in the center and tuck the corners. And the other corner. And push down with the back end of your tweezers. Sometimes you can use your fingers and just squeeze them together because you don't want a separation. You want those lashes in your lash line. No, it actually is pretty secure with hair glue. But use a thin liner, make a thin line, and make sure that you do not, do not um, put it on your lashes because it hurts. It's it's a little stronger. Okay, so we have done this side of the foundation. Now let's do the other side. I'm priming my face with Prep and Prime by Mac Moisture Infusion. I appreciate appreciate you guys getting me um, getting me to the goal for the heart. All right, so I'm still on the same foundation, guys. Revlon Color Stay, mixing the two, cappuccino and caramel, which I'm, like, not mad at it. I really like this foundation. I didn't think I would, but I do like it. I'm going to try a different one. I'll probably try the one by Queen Latifah next just to give you guys a review on that one. So I'm mixing up the color, and today I'm using just a regular foundation brush. Oh, my braids are in the way. It's good. Uh, yeah, that's my next one. Which one do you use now, Chloe? What foundations are you guys using? Are we doing drugstore brand? Yes, I'm just using a regular foundation brush today. Bobbi Brown. Oh, thank you. Elements of She. Mac, Mac, but I used to use Black Up. Oh, what about Black Up? I've heard good things about them. I think that was my next, like, purchase. Mac or Black Opal. Dang, that was too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of Bare Minerals. It always makes people of color look ashy. Always. Never fails. Cover girl, Maybelline. Um, no, it does not tell you when you reached 500 hearts, unfortunately. 
How uh, does anyone know how you know if you've reached 500 hearts? Really? See, I don't like powdered foundation. It just never. I don't know. It makes you lose the glow, the natural glow. I love that you guys are telling us how we can know. You guys are helping me learn more about Periscope. All right, so we're highlighting right now. And we're fixing the eyebrows. You're having a hard time finding concealer. What concealer? You know what you can do if you're having a hard time finding concealer? If you could email me a picture of yourself in natural light. <clears throat> show me the foundation that you're currently using. Take a picture of the foundation that you're currently using so I can see the color also in natural light. But look, take a picture of the actual bottle, please. And send it to Giselle at gmail. And I will get back to you on what uh, color you should be using concealer-wise. But it will be, um, I'll give you two options. Just because the camera, if you're not in the right lighting, won't. It's not going to, um, it's going to be hard to tell. So if you do that, I will help you find the right concealer. But it has to be natural light. So that's why I like car selfies because it, um, you're welcome. That's why I like car selfies because it has a ton of natural light. Just go outside or, you know, just anywhere and make sure the light is good because lighting is everything. Oh, yeah, of course. I want I want you guys to look fabulous all the time. So I had two people send me pictures in natural light. Uh, Sasha sent me one, and I'm getting ready to answer her questions. <laughs> Car selfies are everything because it has the most natural light. But don't forget to send me a picture of the bottle, too, please. bottle of foundation okay so we're all blended in <laughs> okay send it to me all right so we have done our highlight now let's set our highlight with translucent powder hope you guys saw the translucent powders that I posted on Facebook for those of you guys who asked me how <clears throat> which ones I use or inexpensive brands. Um, I went to the store yesterday and I saw the NYX translucent powder, which was okay. I actually kind of, the only thing about one of the NYX powder that I tried is that it's pressed and so it's a little harder to get on the brush. I kind of like loose powder when it comes to setting my foundation and concealer. And that's a personal preference. <clears throat> so back to the Sasha Buttercup. orange or green to correct so when it comes to concealer and you're correcting or hiding blemishes or correcting an area in your face so if the blemish is red so if you have red dots on your face that's when you use green but if it's like a uh, bluish tone or dark tone or sometimes even purplish if it has blue in it then you use orange to cancel it out so that's something from the color wheel so blue cancels out orange and vice versa and red cancels out green vice versa so if you're trying to correct something on your face and it's darker so a lot of times um, people of color our blemishes tend to be like bluish or uh, purplish almost like bruised kind of you would use orange but if you are lighter skin and you have bumps or whatever and they're red then you use green
and that would be before your foundation. So if you're correcting something, you do it before your foundation and you would actually pat it on in that area till it disappears, kind of like the, the actual blemish, not the product you're using. Then you put your foundation on and then you do your regular concealer. It is an extra step, but for people who have um, things that they need to correct, that's how you would do it. You are welcome. So we have let our translucent powder sit so we can wipe some of that off and we can now contour using the palette I always use one of my favorites that will probably never change unless I'm switching to cream the city color effects contour palette which is on eBay for $6.98 and I'm using this angled brush from Coastal Scents and dipping into the contour uh, that's the one that broke. I haven't done the alcohol thing to put it back together yet. Which, when I do that, you guys, I'm going to do it on Periscope. And we're going to see if it's an epic fail or if it works. And down the neck. And around my braids are so in the way and around the hairline and this is adding warmth back into your face do your brush do you clean your brushes are you you are supposed to clean your brushes um, you are potentially supposed to clean your brushes once a week and I clean my brushes probably every three weeks if that so that's not good but the reason why it takes me forever is the brushes I use on my clients I clean more frequently and it is it's kind of a chore to clean your brushes I'm not gonna lie but it's definitely necessary to keep it sanitary and to just make sure that as you keep doing all these different eyeshadow looks they start blending the colors start blending together I will show you just a moment where the bronzer goes. All right, so now we are going to go with the lighter brown, which is called the bronze tone, and we're going to blend the top of the contour, not the bottom, so there is not a harsh line. See that harsh line? We're blending that away. And right here. Okay, and now let us do our blush. And blush, we're gonna do Fever by MAC. Once I get something that's my favorite, I use it all the time. Because if you like it, why switch it up? Alrighty. So our blush is on and the last step is, oh, this is the wrong brush, hold on. Blending it in really nicely into your contour. And let's do our highlight. Our highlight is matte gold deposit <clears throat> using a FAMA. You know what, when it comes to blush, gradually add on how much you wanna see. I like blush because it, it just gives you like a, a nice tone to your skin. So do it little bit by little bit at a time. So what I do is I'll add blush and then I'll blend it in, see if I like it, add blush, blend it in, but I kinda know how much blush I like. So, but for you, yeah, less is more, like Chloe's saying, less is more with blush. And if you feel like, okay, I really don't see it once I get into natural light, then you can always add more. But I, I think blush is necessary to just kinda complete the look. <clears throat> so when it comes to the highlight that I'm using, I am using a fan brush and I'm just going on top of the blush. This is just an accent to your makeup so you don't need a lot. And 
And what it does is just allows your skin to glow in those areas. And I think the light is a little strong so you guys can't see. And this is the last step that I always forget. Thank you. We, I'm going to use Makeup Forever Mist and Fix spraying a setting powder a pretty far from my face. You just want the mist to hit you. And that is setting your makeup. And I'm going to do a nude lip today. Um, I'll show it to you guys because I still have to eat breakfast. I'll show it to you guys after uh, in the final look that I will be posting on Instagram. So a nude lip. Why are we doing a nude lip? Because there's a lot going on here, right? So we don't want so much happening. Actually, I forgot to do one thing and I saw it in the camera. So I want to highlight just the top of the brow bone. So right right here and just a little bit in here whoa that was too much yeah I forgot to do that because I did that to the other side all right now we're done so uh, thank you guys I'm glad you guys love it this is a look that you can do when you are going out on the town when you are just you know I mean it's just a fun pretty look it's not a smoky eye you don't have to do a smoky eye but it's just a fun look a pop of color a little bit more than a pop but it's still fun because we have a lot going on with our face we are going to do a nude lip which I'll show you guys in the final look on Instagram it'll also be on Instagram and Facebook my Instagram name is Deandra Giselle and it's Deandra Giselle on all social media if you guys tag me please tag me in the look if you guys do any of this if you guys do any looks that we've ever talked about please tag me on Facebook and on on um, or Facebook or social media or if you don't want to post it on social media then you can just email it to me at Deandra Giselle at gmail any questions topics anything like that you can send to Deandra Giselle at gmail.com and the name of this eyeshadow palette is called the electric palette by urban decay also uh, I think I have one more thing for you guys mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Next week, next week, I will be going on a cruise, so I won't be scoping with you guys on Thursday and Friday, but yeah, hey, thank you. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Um, but I will scope with you guys Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday will be a, a bridal look by request by someone here, and then Tuesday will be lipsticks and lip liners. Now... <clears throat> gab fest so me and some of the ladies were getting together and doing something called a gab fest in the Atlanta area in March of next year if you guys have questions um, topic ideas you guys want to let us know that you're interested please send all your inquiries to love yourself gab fest at gmail.com and that goes to all of us it goes to Miss Kev on stage it goes to Shari Sharice optimistic D4C's and it goes to Dana which is Dana Mike here um, she has the whole core and it comes to myself so all of us look at the email so please send it to us and let us know if you're interested we are compiling a list and as soon as everything is locked in stone we will open registration and send those people who sent us interest um, information so please do that thank you so much for continuing the hearts as I give you guys all these announcements <laughs> I feel like I'm at church we have announcements uh, let's see what else announcements do we have did I forget anything Chloe talking about a gab fest a gab fest that a love yourself gab fest that's happening in March in the Atlanta area no I didn't okay so thank you so much for tuning in I will see you guys on Monday, I may scope throughout the week. Scotty and I might do another scope. Who knows? Uh, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Tune in Monday for our bridal look. I would love to see all you guys back here on Monday. You guys have a great weekend. Bye, you guys.